Hello guys, welcome to Palace Poetry where the magic of poems never end. So in today's video, we're going to discuss how to write a poem using different figures of speech part 1. So there will be exactly 7 parts and in each part, I'm going to discuss one figure of speech. So let's begin. Before we continue, let's have a look out on what a figure of speech really means. Figures of speech is an expressive way of a language which are used other than their literal sense to suggest a picture or an image or to add special effect. There are seven types of figures of speech that are simile, metaphor, personification, alliteration, onomatopoeia, hyperbole, and idioms. So today we will learn how to write a poem using personification. So let's begin. Now what is personification? Personification means to give a human quality to a non-human thing. For example, rays of sunshine dance to the trees. So in this sentence, rays of sunshine is a non-human thing and we are giving it a human quality that is dance so this is personification now to write a poem on personification we have to remember three guru mantras that is point number one put your creativity hat on second you should know what you're writing about that means the reader should know what you have really written about it's nothing like that uh, that if you have written a poem on tree and it ended up with an apple. It should not be like that. The reader should have the exact idea on what you are really trying to say. Last but not least, grab on some rhyming words. Remember, in my last video, I discussed rhyming words and rhyming schemes. So put them in use for your poem to make them magical message. Now it's your turn to write a poem. I've used, I've written a poem, Mark Cook, using personification and three special guru mantras. So, Mark Cook. Mark Cook is a real snook with a really shabby look. But he has a great secret that no one else can book. He makes the ingredients dance and work and play on his demands. It may sound weird to you, but believe me, it's true. Because he is Mark Cook, a real schnook with a really shabby look. He's neither a zombie, nor a potter, nor a cranky witch. But still he is on top of the great grand list. He's a disguised wizard who can bring a blizzard on a hot summer day to ruin your happy gay. And this is the secret of Mark Cook who is a real schnook with a really shabby look. So in this poem I've hidden personification so comment down below the sentence and tell me in the comment section which sentence in this poem I have used personification so that's all for today guys bye bye see you later and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel